Uh, again, thank you for the, the group here inviting Burla to uh, talk about food traceability. Uh, I've been with the food industry and quality food safety for 20 years and traceability and quality is something that's very important. Uh, but only in the last maybe uh, recent uh, five years has it been really something that the industry itself has been really trying to uh, move forward and, and uh, innovate. And I'm going to talk about the the reasons why traceability is becoming more of a forefront and why we're spending a lot more resources towards that. Uh, but to start that, I really want to also uh, talk about the vision of uh, Barilla in general, and it should help why traceability is important for Barilla as a brand. Uh, here, good for you, good for the planet is uh, is our vision and strategy, and we have a short video here. Hopefully, this works. And a little bit about Barilla while this is queuing up. Barilla is a family-owned company. It's uh, four generations, about uh, four billion uh, in sales annually. So really the, the key takeaways on that video is really where we're a, uh, a, a, a company that really relies on agriculture as a starting force, uh, starting focus for our raw materials in processing. Um, it's important that, you know, throughout the, the supply chain that we understand traceability. And as of recently, it, uh, it is very important for not just for, oops, sorry. A future without pasta? A great <laughs> pasta for us. I don't know how to stop <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna close it. Sorry. 
Um, that's the. Uh, that's actually the. Uh, yeah, that's actually the five-minute video that I was. That goes a little bit more about the company um, and, and Barilla, but I'll try to tr talk through that one. But the the initial video I thought was very interesting because it really it talks about how uh, our processing and our pasta and traceability is really key to our consumers. Uh, again, from farm to fork. Thank you. Um, and here uh, is basically the complexity that we've seen a lot talked in the morning discussion of what as an industry we're trying to do as far as trying to communicate to our customers uh, why, uh, what we do through traceability. And it's not now just you know, where the product's from, it's about the data that about and the quality of the data uh, that makes our, our brand different. Uh, Barilla is a uh, focused on quality, quality of our raw materials. And uh, the biggest takeaway on this slide really from all that data is really we do about 2 million analysis uh, annually uh, to support our brand, our, our brand, uh, and that's not just uh, that's just in within Brilla company, and not uh, accounting for the testing that's required and the analysis required to support our brands in the supply chain. And what we're trying to do is because the focus now is not just for regulatory purposes. Uh, people now, the consumers, really want to know why Brilla is qual uh, a quality product. And so we'll talk a little bit about the information that we're trying to obtain from our supply chain throughout the system and share that to our consumers. So um, in this group, is there a lot of millennials? Can I see a hand? Not a lot of millennials or some. Okay. I expected more from the invitation. I thought there's going to be a lot more. So that's why I picked this video. But uh, I guess boomers also are boomers in this group. I was born in 71. So a boomer is anyone, I guess, less than 10 years than that. Um, so you guys are like me, They're, you guys are the Xers that are trying to figure this out for the millennials and boomers. So if this was a marketing presentation, um, the millennials and boomers are really driving the reason why uh, we want this information uh, presented to our consumers. They're two very big, large groups that are really interested on the nutritional factors within our, our products and what we do to assure quality, food safety, and nutrition. So. What we're trying to do is uh, make this information a lot easier to digest. Uh, so taking that information, and we're trying to give them the information from raw material to R&D research, industrialization, uh, our process of distribution, local sourcing, uh, communication information. So we do a lot of work in sustainability. Um, this was a 22 presentation slide for another conference. I've cut it down to 10 because uh, I thought we only needed to do five. But uh, the, uh, the big piece on this was, you know, what we do for Brilla uh, for sustainability, and it's really important uh, what we do, especially in agriculture, through sustainability. And so, how do we get that to the customer so that they can understand? Obviously, the the, the product tastes good three minutes into in uh, the nutritional value of the, the product. It's part of the Sea Mediterranean diet, which promotes long life, and then also that sustainability information. So, there's a lot of information throughout that supply chain. And we talked about earlier about the silos of information throughout the supply chain that we're trying to merge and give to our consumers as quickly as possible. So that's really where the innovation comes in. And um, here is an example or case study that Barilla has worked on through uh, the, uh, the World's Fair uh, in Milan this year. So um, anyone at the World Fair in Milan is trying to say probably now, oh, we have one. Couple. So if you went to the, the World Fair, uh, the biggest key is what we talked about was about sustainability and the importance of sustainability globally and producing food uh, for the long term. Uh, Barilla being a family owned company, um, we don't, we don't um, make our plans or strategic plans uh, based on quarterly, uh, quarterly results. It's really a long term objective. So we, we want to be forefront. So we're not as big as Kraft, we're not as big as Heinz, but we do have. Uh, incentives to, to, to look out for innovation in, in quality and traceability because um, it's what's important to the consumers. And now that the technology is now catching up to what we are trying to um, share with the consumers, and this is where in the food expo you see a picture here, it was a corner with Barilla products and the objective there, and, and so it wasn't just Barilla products, it was products throughout the whole world, and information uh, on each of the products was readily available. So you'll see here, uh, down on the tables here, is basically information uh, that was available to the people about those specific products. And here we have a, an example of our pasta and sauces. And 
for those millennials, you could, I'm not going to go through the, I didn't do that, but you can actually, actually uh, click onto that, um, that uh, web page, and that would share then the information for those specific products. So we actually did a case study, a small trial run packaging, to actually try to uh, emulate what we, our vision for traceability in the future has become. So again, it's not just where the product's from, it's all the information throughout the supply chain that can be shared to the consumer uh, at, uh, at time, time of purchase. So that's really the example. And just to talk through what that might look, look like, um, if we were to go into the web page, we would have basically uh, sections or pages uh, about the field, about where it was from, the quality of durum wheat selection, um, Barilla spends a lot of money, a lot more money per bushel for the type of wheat that we buy. It's very selective uh, and differentiates our pasta from pasta throughout the world. So we want to share that with our consumer. Our milling process uh, does a very good job of taking uh, the consistency of uh, different types of wheat and milling it to the, the semolina that we provide, that we need to make a uh, high quality product. So we want to talk about, you know, what, what makes that unique about uh, putting, you know, especially on times as, as uh, in agriculture where the wheat quality may not be where we need it to be. How do we use the milling process uh, to, make, to make up for the low quality wheat that might be out in the field? The pasta factory, information about uh, where it was produced is always uh, important to the consumer. Packaging and storage, you know, what is the supply chain and how, how quickly are we able to deliver and the low, lower impact that we have to environment? And then the table, what, is, what does that all come to, you know, right now available to the consumers, nutritional facts, allergen statements, but they're asking more and they're willing to pay more for this, uh, for the high quality products. And since we already have the information, we want to share that to Barilla. So um, same thing for sauces. So I'll go through that, sauces, uh, same, same. And here is really the, the process that we're trying to do. We want to be able to be on pack through a QR code to be able to scan that have the information off your cell phone that a consumer will have that information readily available for a specific product lot. So within the supply chain, that's something that we can do for our information. We have our information and we we're looking to work with agriculture uh, to figure out you know, the farm part because we know that there's gonna be uh, opportunities there that we need to work on, but we feel the technology now is where it needs to be to, to help support this type of flow. So, the future is, you know, what, what is the information that consumers really want? We have a good idea, but there's a lot of information that we have to, you know, someone said what information is good, what information is the right information that we want to share. Um, and so we're trying to, to work through that, that process, uh, but we do know that the agricultural information is very important to consumers, and we're trying to work with agriculture to get that at a more readily, easily easily paced. Um, and so we're, we're right now, you know, mapping and see how people are looking at this technology. It's being uh, accepted really well. And then now we're also looking for partners in the stage of how do we make this uh, happen for the future. So the long term is really we want to be able to give the information throughout our supply chain to the consumer at the time of purchase so that they can make good decisions about the products and feel comfortable about the quality and the food safety of their products. So. That is my story on traceability. Thank you. Uh, any questions? Chef.Castillo at Thank you. Uh, next up is um, 